The low pressure gauge is, is come down to 30 inches of mercury, which is normal. During this process, what we can be doing is we can be uh, putting the system back together. So in this case, we've replaced the evaporator. The seat has to go back in on this international. Uh, we have some lines to tie wrap up. We have an evaporator core that we can uh, box up and tag for warranty. So while it's vacuuming, that gives us a good opportunity to do uh, some of the uh, of finishing work on the system rather than just standing around we can be utilizing our time. So we're just uh, finishing up the vacuuming. It's going to go into its leak test. The leak test is going to take us uh, about 10 minutes. During that time, uh, we can, we've marked our low pressure gauge here with our needle to the back side. As that, if there's any leaks, that'll move up. Otherwise, we're good to recharge, add oil and recharge. 10 minute leak test. We've marked the needle on the low pressure gauge with our indicator. If there's a leak during that 10 minutes, the, the low pressure gauge will rise. We'll have to address the leak with another uh, leak test. Sometimes if the leaks are very, very small, soap and water may not reveal them, uh, at which point you can add some dye to the system, charge the system, run it, and use the, the black light test to reveal the leaks. So we'll, we'll wait 10 minutes. While we're waiting, we can finish up with some of the reassembly of the, the vehicle and, and tagging of parts. We've got enough refrigerant in here to charge the system. We're gonna charge it now that our vacuum is held. We simply do that by hitting the charge button. It'll ask us in the charge mode if we would like to add oil, so oil inject, yes. We want to add oil to the system as we've replaced components. We've replaced the evaporator which takes approximately two ounces of oil as well as a condenser. Each line, depending on the length, usually takes about an ounce of oil and a new receiver dryer that has no oil in it will take approximately one ounce as well. So in this case, we've replaced the evaporator for two ounces and the receiver dryer for one ounce, so we'll add three ounces of oil in it. Also, if during the recovery process you've recovered oil, you'll add that amount of oil to the system as well. In this case, we're using a PAG oil for the vehicle. Uh, some vehicles will take ester oils as well. Uh, make sure that you uh, use it from a sealed container.